I worked for the previous owners of a, uh, another deli that was here. It was called F. McNally's. Uh, it's a pretty popular place, and uh, I was their server. And uh, they closed down, and I didn't understand why, so I decided that I would take it upon myself to reopen my own business. People come here for lunch from all over Detroit. We have artists and business people and mechanics and you know local people that are uh, coming in from a lot of the industry that's around the neighborhoods here. It's such a broad range of different people that come in. If you look outside, there's beamers and there's beaters. It's, you know, and everything in between. The hardwood floors are still the original. The uh, cooler here is actually the original cooler that was here when the building was built and it used to be a grocery store. I didn't have a whole lot of money to uh, purchase new stuff when I opened up, so I found all the chairs online from a school, and I picked them up for $2 a piece. Same thing as well as the tables, and uh, we just went and bought tablecloths for them. Very simple, low startup costs. <laughs> Most of the menu is composed of uh, sandwiches. We do offer uh, homemade soups, and we also offer salads, and uh, our Medill sandwich was given an award from the Detroit Free Press, making a, a list of top 21 sandwiches in Detroit. We do offer uh, some fun desserts that people get a kick out of. We make a brownie batter, we prepare it in a waffle iron so that it's not sitting around waiting to be reheated, it's just fresh and hot. And then we top it with uh, another local dairy, it's Calder's Dairy, and then we use Saunders Hot Fudge, which is a classic, and people just get a real big kick out of that. It's, it's, it's just a twist on a classic dessert that everybody in Detroit knows about. We cook all of our own turkey here, we cook the roast beef here, we cook the corned beef here, and uh, we try to keep things as fresh as possible. We don't make things in large batches so that it's sitting around all week waiting for somebody to order. We make small batches, wait till it runs out, make a new batch. And then uh, all of our produce and whatnot comes from Eastern Market. We do try to, wherever we can, whenever we can, use local products rather than importing things. You know, as well as having great food, the location, people like to come to this corner. It's a cool old building and people enjoy the quaint atmosphere. And it's really nice to see people coming in here and like, when you come in, everybody's chatting and having a good time and there's like a little roar of the dining room and, and you just know that everybody's happy. So that's really the main thing of it all too, is, is the response that we get back from our customers.